Hey everybody, it's Jonathan from Green Cover and I'm out here in my garden. And last year we planted uh, Green Cover's overwintering mix in our garden rows. And today I'm gonna crimp these rows so that we have a nice thick mulch that we can transplant our vegetables into. So how do I know that now is the time to crimp? Well, if you look at, at the rye, which is the thing I'm mostly concerned about, uh, getting a good kill on. Uh, you can see it's starting to shed its pollen here. We call this anthesis. And if the, if the rye heads are really starting to shed their pollen like that, you can see, see it dangling down there. We'll be able to get a pretty good kill from crimping. I see some other things in here. I see quite a bit of vetch. The vetch hasn't quite flowered yet. Um, and I could wait a little bit longer, but I'm itching to get my vegetables in. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and crimp this. You, you can see some peas in here too. Um, and that, that's going to crimp. Okay. I, I think so. I'll show you what I'm going to use to crimp it. This is, uh, this is my handy foot crimper. I just used a, a couple ropes we had laying around and, uh, some metal, uh, it's some angle iron or something like that. It works just fine. Um, and put that at the bottom of a board, hold onto the ropes and stomp down the, the overwintering mix and should get a pretty decent kill. So our goal here is to crush the stems, you can see, or, or break the stems without severing them. The, the whole mix will lay down, create, create a nice uh, mulch mat that we can transplant into uh, and, and help keep weeds down throughout the growing season.